Hello, teacher Jackie here wanting to give an example. When I had a uh, saw in the discussion, a, stu a student, a fellow teacher had said, you know, I have never experienced this where a student just straight up ignored me. They had, I guess, crossed their legs in front of the camera. There was pretty much no engagement at all, and they didn't know what to do. There were some wonderful, wonderful examples about, you know, um, getting their attention, be more silly, um, just try all these different techniques. Well, I had mentioned mine. Some people liked it. Maybe some people did it. And I had someone say, um, I'd like to see that or whatever. I said, well, I'd be happy to do a video. So um, excuse my blurry video, but I will do my best to explain what I do. So I guess sometimes I feel like I get those kids. I get the trouble kids. I get the kids who either are too active, not active, um, who can read or can't read. They have their overbearing parents. So I will continue to do maybe this um, example series where I can help explain what I do because I feel that I do succeed in the classroom and then I get rebooked by these particular unique, rare, or... Um, not the best case scenario for our classroom. All right, so this is what we'll do. I'll pretend I'm starting my class and we'll pretend that the student is just not having it. They're just playing their toy. They're on their phone. I have had young and older, uh, a lot of my teens that do it too. They'll just um, be on their phone. They'll just... So this is what we'll do. I'll talk about the younger kids first. We'll go like, we'll say elementary um, from kindergarten to maybe fifth grade. So that would be what, four or five years old to 10, 11 years old. Okay. So let's not do the phone. Let's say that they're doing, um, they're playing a toy. I have my little bunny here. So this class starts I'm like, hello, hi. Just like, hello, my name is teacher Jackie. What's your name? And then maybe I go ahead and say, is your name Mike? <laughs> Whatever English name they may have picked. Or if I am brave, I want to try to pronounce the Chinese name or whatever their name might be. And they're like, you know, still totally uninterested. They're done. They're just done with the class. And they're just like, okay, I'm done with this. I'll play with my butterfly. And you just sit there and you're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? This kid is like checked out. And then um, you're like, uh, here, so we'll do this. We'll keep doing this. So I see you have a bunny. They probably have no idea what you're talking about. They probably don't know what the word bunny is. So you say a rabbit. And then you then maybe you kind of go scale it down, sc scaffold down, hop, 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 or white. A lot of them know colors and numbers right away. I see your white bunny. And then um, I actually have a lot of students who say they like white. So I made a, I turned my star around and I made a white star. So I say, oh, I'm going to give you a white star to match your white bunny. So they may look up and they're like, you know, like, oh, that's okay. Well, thanks, whatever. And they may still be that way. So then I will do this and I'll make it really obvious. This is what I talked about. And someone's like, I'd like to really see that in the thread that we were talking about kids. I said, I'll just stop class. I mean, I'll literally, I'll be like in teacher mode. Hi, teacher Jackie. Oh, white bunny. Oh, white star, white bunny. And then I'll be like, hello. You know, I'll just totally get out of script, get out of character, if you will. And I'll go, are you okay? You know, literally. Because this kid may have just gotten in trouble because they didn't get, you know, their stuff done or I don't know. So I'll do something like, you know, this, just pull this out right away. They love emojis. If you have mad, sad, like, are you sad? You know, I mean, like, hi, I'm, you know, are you okay? Are you sad? Are you mad? And they kind of start to engage and then they may shake their head. They may not be able to talk or say whatever's going on. And I go, it's okay. You know, I 
here we go sad I you know teacher gets sad too um and you relate to them right away and you look in their room and you say like here's my wonderful this was uh one of my kids that we had bought to use and we didn't really use it for like you know fun time or uh enrichment for their um school i now use it so much but i'll do this and i'll go oh, i i see you know you're wearing a purple shirt or i see your school uniform or you know they always have a bunk bed behind them they have a bookshelf behind them or they may be in the dining room and they have beautiful lights up top just talk about it like I like your lights I like your I see your bunk bed do you have a brother or sister and you just immediately go through the rapport questions but you also change it completely to be more um you know like just relatable and like you know hey look I mean I know they say don't cross your arms I kind of do this sometimes too um uh, just, you know, I've even done this. They say, don't do that. You know, people say, don't go to your class. Don't like sit back and relax or don't put your hand on your face. But you know what? <laughs> You're desperate at this point. You're about to not have a class. So you kind of lean in and, and I have my camera high, as you can tell, I'm looking up at you because I think kids, when they look, when they get that visual of looking down, I think that's, you know, anyway, I've always done this. I've always had my camera really high, not not just because it <laughs> helps with my look, but really I, I want them to look like, hey, I'm, I'm going to look up at you, you know, or if you can try to get equal, um, but looking down on the student, I just have never done that since I've been teaching over five years now online. So again, you're just like, are you okay? Yeah. Was your day good or not? Actually, I do good, okay, or not good. And they'll say, they'll even say, they'll say it was okay, or it was not good, or I have these. I've had these for five years, and I love it now. The slides show these. You know, was your day good? Not good. You know, and then just at this point, you may be seven, eight minutes into your 25-minute lesson, but it's worth it. And then you say, well, you know, like here, you click the slide, just go find a more fun slide, or quickly type in the last slide, 25, 35, 45, whatever it is. And you just drew, do tick, tick tock, tick tock, tick tack toe really quick, you know, just play it or just start scribbling here. Look, teacher has red, you know, just start scribbling, scribbling, scribbling with your mouth. And then you, they have blue usually. So you say, give me some blue. And they do like a wimpy, one little line. Oh, more blue, more blue, give me more blue. And I know people are like, oh, the kid's scribbling on the screen and I didn't like it. But at this point, again, a non-engagement kid, you've got to get them going. And then you go, okay, now let's read or let's go to this. And you type in slide number 10 and try to find, just try to find that first slide where it's just more engagement. Uh, you'll have the slides where it says, what do you know? What do you want to learn? What did you learn? Those are good for the higher end students who can learn beyond the vocabulary. Um, but in this case, you just want to go to the slide that may have something interactive. You click and a picture pops up or you click and a question pops up or you can um, pick between, you know, chair or desk because they're learning about, um, like I had one recently, you know, under, if you're under the desk, you know, which one's the desk and they get to click on it and you go, yay. And you can reset it too and go click on it again, you know, just get them to engage. And you may be at minute 12, 13 at this point. And you're like, oh my gosh, I have a whole lesson to do. But at this point, you've got to get them engaged. They have left the room. Um, now, if you have like more of a student that's being just evil because mom or dad's making them take the class then you say like you know again i do the where are you are you know um and then sometimes if you click on getting the fireman uh they immediately will respond somehow some way i've noticed that too so one day i had an older so we're talking about middle school now an older student who was just not going to engage let's say they're on their phone okay so they're on their phone they're not engaging and I'll go, I'll go, um, you know, hello, you know, like what's on your phone? And let's just say they just 
didn't get anywhere. So I'll click on the fireman, then they'll kind of look up and I'll type even in the chat box, fireman, little colon, student is not, you know, talking, student is not engaging, student is ignoring me. I'll even type it and enter, put it in there. Student can read it and see it. I'm waiting for this, the, the fireman to come in. And they'll immediately start doing stuff. So then at that point, I will cancel the request. But I've typed into the chat. It's been documented, you know, kind of a date time stamp, take a screenshot, that kind of stuff. Get yourself documented too, in case they call it a teacher IT or, you know, they give you a low star. Okay. Make sure you document. Huge about screenshots and typing in the chat. So you document what's going on. Students not here at five minutes. Students not here at six minutes. Oh, student arrive at 10 minutes. Or students not listening. Students not, oh, you know, students finally finally talking. <laughs> so let's say we're watching their phone. Well, I'll get my phone out too. And I'll go, are you playing a game? And they'll say, you know, what game are you playing? Or uh, what app are you on? Or what are you watching? And again, you get out of that script. You get out of that mode. You get out of like, hi, let's read the slide. Please read, you know. And, you know, this is a vocabulary word. This is our sentence. So you continue to say these things that are related to the slide and learning. And then you just kind of stop. Oops. <laughs> and so you immediately just go and say, um, hi, what are you, what are you looking at? You just kind of really change your voice, change your tone. Not mad. Please don't get mad. That's, that's tempting. And I've done it. <laughs> and there is a time to do it. But in most of these cases, the child not listening, not engaging, not focusing on purpose. They've had a bad day. They're exhausted. Um, they just got yelled at or um, just that kid. You just kind of, you know, I have a bear. You know, this is We Bear Bears. Do you watch it? I had a student who super loved We Bear Bears. Um, you pick out, you know, got a butterfly. But again, look around the room. You know, I see your orange shirt. Look, we match. Or um, what else, what else, what else? Or whatever's on the screen. Let's say there's an animal on the screen. Just draw like a horn on the animal, you know, whatever it is, a monkey. Look, look, the monkey has a horn, you know. Um, and then like one student, I wasn't sure of his reading level. Um, what, he was in middle school and um, there's a tree. And I made it, um, I drew it a tree and I said, broccoli. And he was like, like, you're crazy lady. That's a tree. And I said, what is that? And he's like, a tree. And I was like, you're right. It is a tree. Oh, silly teacher kind of a thing. So again, look around. I know one student, she had a double bunk bed behind her and I asked her what color she liked. And I don't think she knew what color to say, like, um, and behind her, her bed was pink. And I was like, do you like pink? And then she knew that after I said it, I think at the time she couldn't remember the word. And so I tell her that I don't have a pink star, but I have white and red. And when you mix them together, they make pink. And then she's kind of, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but you do your best to, you know, I even have these. I go, <gasps> and then they always, um, and I'll shake this in front of the camera. You know, I remember learning early on, we would have all these extra rewards. We go, like, here, you get ice cream. And we would pull it away. And one, um, workshop or I forget who it was another fellow teacher was like hold it up here you get ice cream and you hold it and you wait and they process it you take your time and then you kind of do this you know do you like ice cream <laughs> and then I always kind of like put it down here and I go oh look it's gone and then they're kind of like whatever you know this lady and then I'll put it here and I'll do this and I'll, or I'll do this and then um they start laughing and you laugh too. Cause again, you're getting out of character. They're expecting this serious um, teacher. You don't have to be goofy or silly. You can still remain to be the one to be respected in the room or in the, in the, in the moment, but you still need to let them know that you are not just this disciplinarian, another person to tell them they're right, they're wrong, you know? Um, Let's pour into them as far as kindness and, and like a relatable, you know, again, the older ones, you know, what are you looking at? 
you know, a game. What kind of game? Is it like a, you know, is it, you know, a shooter game? Is it, you know, whatever they, you know, they may not be able to tell any another adult what, what they're doing, what they're watching. What do you watch? Oh, it's a, you know, Chinese show. Really? What's the name? And they're like, oh, I don't know it in English. That's okay. Tell me the Chinese name. And they'll say it. You know, it's great, you know. Um, do you watch it all the time? And you may be even at minute 15, 17, 18, you're like, I have got to teach class. So at this point, hopefully you have done some night before prep or before class prep, and you know, these slides are the vocabulary words. This word is, this slide is kind of a review and that's about it. So you really want to make sure you go over the vocabulary words. You go over maybe a review slide, an interactive slide, something that's more fun than the rest. And I cannot guarantee, but I can say you will have more success when you try a lot of these tips and tricks for the younger ones and for the older ones. So the young ones, again, um, get out the magnifying glass or, you know, you can just do this like, wait a minute, you know, what do you, oh, I see a bear. Is that a bear behind you? They have a stuffed animal behind them. Um, do you have a cat or dog? Do you have a bird or a fish? And then I always say, well, do you have a turtle? Because those are some of the things that they may or may not have. And usually they say, I had a fish and it died. <gasps> oh, you know, like, oh no. Sometimes it may be sad, maybe happy, but a lot of them, they're like, don't care. How many, how many fish did you have? How many died? You know, whatever it may be. But these are things where you just literally stop. So the example again would be, hi, I'm teacher Jackie. Hello, I'm teacher Jackie. What's your name? Hello. Are you sad or happy? Hmm. Hello. How was your day? Did you go to school today? Did you like school? Mm, okay school or didn't like school? I see you have a bunny. Bunny, hop, 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 hop. <laughs> uh, bunny is soft. Mm. And your, 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 um, Lesson could be about trains or something, you know, so something totally, you know, obviously they know you've gone off script. Do you like class? Do you want to do class or not do class? You don't want to do class. Okay. Are you, what's, you know, like what happened today or, um, you know, just get them to talk get them to talk. And of course, if there's something, you know, uh, that needs to be elevated to a fireman, you do that. If not, the older student again. Hi. What are you, what are you looking at there? What do you got? And they're not like, they're not listening to you. Like, oh, I have my phone too. I have my phone. And then like, you know, can I take your picture? You want to smile? You know, um, you can start pulling up an app. And, um, you know, pull up an app that's something fun, something clean. And I'll go, look, this is my game. You know, this is my game or whatever. Or you wait till it loads. It's taking a while. And then they see uh, your game. My game is taking a while here. There we go. Yeah. What do you play? What do you watch? Do you dance? You know, who's your favorite artist? So here's my game, you know, oops, whatever. That's just, again, I mean, again, it may even get, well, hopefully it doesn't get to minute 20 and they're completely unengaged by then. By then they should be somewhat engaged. You know what? Again, try all the things they tell you not to do in your classroom. Like put your hands on your face, lean back and relax, eat. I have celery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I usually have nuts. <laughs> And I do water. Do you have any water? And I shake my water. In my class, you can drink water. And they usually leave and come back with a mug of water or milk. Good job. Milk is so good for you. Water is so good for your brain. 
you know, it's really, really good. And you constantly do something else. And like, I like your mug. They usually hold it in their mug, the handle in the, they drink it. And again, off script. they be like, oh, okay. And then you say, I need you to read this slide. And you go to a slide and you're like, can you read that vocabulary word? And they're like, turtle, you know. <laughs> Yes, it is a turtle. What color is the turtle? Oops, got a post-it note too. What color is the turtle? You know, how many do you see? And just, again, you have to sometimes do that. I hope this was helpful and not just so much rambling, but I know it can be so frustrating and a struggle, but I can tell you something or all the combination of these things will work at some point. Um, I wish you the best, always happy teaching, but definitely do not feel like you have to go like, you know, you need to read the slide. You know, I can, I know it's tempting, <laughs> you know, like, uh, and I've had to do it too. You know, I give them a star, like, look at the stars. Okay. I'm going to take away the stars. I took away a star and finally had a student engaged after I did that. I was nervous, <laughs> but it worked. <laughs> so Thank you very much. I'm glad someone said that they wanted me to go ahead and try to do this video to give examples. And again, if you're like, I, I've tried all those things, they still don't work. Tell me and I will again, try to help to give me the examples and I can help out. All right. Thanks again. And I hope this again is helpful. Subscribe, like, share. Um, being a community just really helps us all succeed. And that's what I super love about everything. <laughs> doing life with people is much better. All right. Well, thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.